Hey guys, I'm Greg. I'm going to go over Bitcoin, crypto, and uh, give you my take on it for right, the time being right now. I'm not going to go into wave counts or anything like that. So just give you my take on it, what I'm looking for. Um, here on Bitcoin, this is on a 12-hour chart. I'm on a 12-hour chart because the daily uh, the daily doesn't have lower FIB targets, but there are t targets over here. 27.7 is a, a daily target, and there's targets over here too, guys. So low target of 28.3 on the 12-hour uh, chart. Looks like it's going to be coming down middle of August, and there are new updated uh, targets right here, 28 down to 27.5 and as low as 27.2. So, you know, this strategy is going to be in here, okay? So, and also over here, there's another strategy. Possibly you could do a short trade. It might pop up. Um, that's in my Discord channel. I'm not going to put that on on the uh, on the YouTubes. So, for the uh, respect to the other members that are paying for it, but down this way, um, and then swinging back around, going up with upper fib targets of 31.4 and 32.5 up there right now on the longer term time frame on the algos. These algos are still 36, 40. 40,000 and possibly 43K. Um, you know, we'll see if Bitcoin can uh, make that, guys, uh, in this area. Okay. So I think that I think these are going to be reasonable targets in this area once this is uh, all said and done for Bitcoin, guys. And um, that could be a topping pattern up there for Bitcoin. So in the meantime, I'm just waiting for this a ride of uh, the 32. Now there is a potential. When it goes up, it's going to be very fast and dramatic. So from this from this wave from this wave to this wave was eight days, guys. So Bitcoin went up from here to here, almost thirty percent in eight days. Okay, so you can have a move over here if you're not prepared for it. Uh, let's just say let's just say twenty twenty. I mean, what is twenty percent is thirty three k more or less. Twenty percent is up to thirty three k that it could do that. And then it's going to go into an extended correction. So what's the behavior of Bitcoin been recently, right? Okay. So the behavior has been up into a wave, extended correction, up into a wave, extended correction, up into a wave, extended correction. So reasonably, it'd be reasonable to expect um, that Bitcoin is going to go up into a wave. Let's just say 34 for the time being as an illustrative example. And then what? Go into a correction for eight weeks, right? Okay. And then there'll be another one. According to the algos, according to the algos, there's one shot here, correction, and then another shot up. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be expecting is a shot from here. Okay. As low as, you know, the 27s, 28.1, 28.3, 27.5, those numbers, general areas, okay, I'd be looking for. And there's going to probably be an aggressive shot up with resistance at 31, 32K right in this area. And if it does get over that, it can shoot up to 30, 34 to 36, okay, which I think in this situation with Bitcoin, if it does get up over here, there's probably going to be a little bit of a FOMO wave in Bitcoin. But probably not altcoin guys. Okay, I don't know if you guys know. I, I have to check into that uh, information. But something that's us. Uh, I saw something on the media about uh, something to do with Binance guys. Um, so I made a uh, post about that. Cake, Cake coin potentially going to zero, kind of like the time before uh, I mentioned uh, hex. So before the whole hex thing started, okay, I'm going to go over this. This whole the whole hex coin. Um, information started guys um i said there's the algos are saying hex could go to zero and those are those are uh, down in zero guys on the hex um it's unfortunate but i mean think about this reasonably guys it's like let's let's be real here man it's not looking good for this coin at all i just got delisted off this off of uh that other exchange at uh uniswap right um okay Let's uh, like start seriously evaluating the situation here, guys. You know, I mean, I don't want that to happen, but like, look, you know, it's your finances, man. I mean, maybe things will change. But I said that about Hexcoin, guys, right? I said that about Hexcoin before it happened. And uh, Kcoin is uh, on the choppy block too, guys. Kcoin is another one. All right. So 
Um, where's uh, Kate Coin here? I thought I had Kate Coin in my list somewhere. Yeah, I have Kate Coin in my list somewhere. And let me uh, put on a uh, logarithmic. Yeah, not looking good for Kate Coin, guys. At all. That's a logarithmic. Let me put it on. Let me put it on regular. See what we got here, guys. I mean, yeah, that those numbers are down in the negative, guys. Those numbers are down in the negative on a two-day algorithm. Um, there's supposed to be a bounce in Kate Coin. Okay. So like down here, I'm looking at Kate Coin to short it, guys. And uh I put this on Twitter. You know, looks is it gonna do its little it looks like it's trying to do that little path. So a little ABC move. On Kate Coin, you can see ABC up into uh, late August, so it's probably going to ride. It's probably going to get back up there. Um, there are Fib targets of a dollar sixty six, um, dollar seventy five, and one seventy nine, and these are potential targets too. Is dollar eighty eight and as high as dollar ninety five? Okay, um, more likely it's going to hit these Fib targets. You know, at least that bottom one and this one. So I probably say it's probably going to hit at least dollar seventy five. Maybe get up to a dollar eighty three or something like that with K coin, and then once K coins up here, maybe that news with Binance coin is going to come out, and you know what that's going to do? K coin is going to go bam all the way freaking down here to a dollar nineteen ninety cents. That's on the daily. Take a look at the two day chart, and boom, sayonara. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, peace. Thank you.